Hey, Brett. Oh, hey. What are you doing? You working on the next episode? Nah, man, I'm studying. What are you studying for? We don't have any exams. We graduated. We gotta take an exam to host the show. What? No, we don't. Of course you do. Ah! Ah! When did he get here? I didn't even hear him open the door. The exam will cover everything you've learned. Everything? Everything, including the Star Wars universe. Classic or expanded? Expanded. Damn. Not to worry, I have prepared a study guide. We can't learn all that. What happens if we fail? You will be set on fire. Ah! Wait, no. You will be fired. Uh, uh, wow. can, can we at least have a extension? How does he do that? I have no idea. We have been at this for hours. And I honestly cannot tell you anything that we have done. I don't know, man. There's got to be some kind of brain hack to help us learn all this stuff. To, to the, the internet. internet. All right. Uh, Hey, the BBC did a documentary about the uh, study habits of college students. Here we see a group of students in their natural habitat. The behavior most common to students is that of learning. This warning call, exam, refers to a test of learning behaviors and can be quite frightening for students. The exam is safely three weeks into the future, so the students resume their leisure activities. We interviewed several experts on the optimal learning behaviors of students. My name is Cindy Lustig. I'm an associate professor here in the psychology department uh, and also in the neuroscience program here at Michigan. Well, I'm Bill McKeechee. Hey, my name is John Hagen. I have been at the University of Michigan for, I think, 48 years. The best way is to have students talk to one another rather than listening to a lecturer. <laughs> they learn more from one another than they do from listening to somebody just talk, which is likely to be boring, and they sometimes go to sleep. If you space it out, you will learn and retain much more later than if you do mass practice. We return to the students nearer to exam time. Now for, for the poor student who has you know, only the eight hours and has to stay up all night, you can still apply these principles there. Ah, there is yet hope for these students. Instead of organizing things like an outline, you organize them in some ways in the way that we think that concepts are sort of arranged for ourselves in our minds and you know, more like a network. Think about the relations of things. Take out a piece of paper or hop on your computer screen and start making your own sense out of it. Look for things that are, what are the big ideas, what are the big themes? Try to relate it to things in your own life or things that you already know. It's better if there's some kind of emotional component to it, something that you, know, you have, you know, will direct your attention to it. And probably one of the best ways of remembering something is to explain it uh, to somebody and to talk about it. One of the best ways to learn is actually by testing yourself. Testing it re-exposes you to the information in a way it's even better if you do it with feedback, but even testing without feedback seems to work pretty well. And then you're also getting practice in what you're going to have to do on the test, which is retrieve the information. Most of us can't really focus attention more than 10 or 12 minutes. Our brains are novelty seekers, yeah. and so we have to do something to keep them fresh. Take breaks, you work out a plan ahead of time. In desperation, this student is attempting to learn through osmosis by sleeping upon the textbook. Sleeping it is really important for learning and memory, and it seems to be especially important for pulling out the big picture of things. Of course, some students are more desperate than others. One expert provides the following conclusion. Pay attention, find a way to organize the information and connect it to something that you already know, and test yourself. Okay, so we can't exactly space things out. No, so we're going to have to be really organized. Yeah, and focus on the big picture stuff. And connect the information to things that we already know and care about. 
but we have to break things up so we can stay focused. And also somehow get sleep. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Congratulations! You passed... Yes! The written portion. Wait, what? Release the hounds! Well done!